Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jumpa lagi dengan saya guys Cak Mujib Terima kasih sudah ngeklik video ini Jangan lupa untuk like, share, komen, dan subscribe Serta nyalakan loncengnya Gimana kabar teman-teman semua Semoga senantiasa dalam lindungan Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala Dijauhkan dari segala merah bahaya Malapetaka bencana dan balak Serta berbagai macam penyakit Amin amin ya rabbal alamin Oke okay, guys di sini ada sebuah rekesan dari pada kawan sekalian Dan di sini dari channel TVS Jadi langsung saja kita play videonya Let's go Masya Allah Wow Keren sih openingnya Berarti ini Wow Sarawak Okay Beuh Mantap sih Take me to Sarawak Oke okay. This episode, we're starting in the capital city, Kuching. You may think that the city has very little hidden away, but we'll take you on a ride through the quieter side and uncover some delicious gems. Okay. Kuching. Let's go meet Farha from Paradesa, Borneo. She is one of Kuching's finest cycling tour guides. Okay. Hi, you made it. Okay. Today is a really beautiful day for cycling. Why don't you come with me and I'll show you the ropes? Okay? Okay. Farha will be taking us on a cycling tour of Kuching and showing some of the best hidden okay. secrets in this town and making sure I don't fall off during the tour. Okay. I'm super excited to take this cycling tour. But first, let's get our gear ready. Safety first. Here's your helmet. Yes. Alrighty, let's go. Itu safety paling utama guys kalau kita mau bersepeda itu ya. An adventurous life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Apagi ibu malu ba, eh kaca. Oh. I've never cycled through Kuching before, let alone bringing a bicycle on a perahu tambang. Oke, jadi naik perahu ya. Yes, All right. This is our boat. Well, how long is it gonna take? Wow, mengerikan sekali ini, guys. Mengerikan. Saya nggak berani naik kayak gini nih. Oke, okay, paciknya senang banget kayaknya. Masya Allah cantik banget. Merupakan cerah. Oke. Oke, lalu untung lah. Oke. Jadi sampai sekarang masih digunakan ya. Wow, amazing guys. Itu ialah bangunan Astana Istana ya. Rumah kediaman lama Brook. Astana, oh Astana namanya. Oke. Ini dibina untuk menggantikan masjid lama. Oke, masjid terapung juga ya. Pantas saja istilahnya ketika saya bawa orang Malaysia uh, apa namanya bermain-main ataupun ziarah ya di masjid uh, terapung yang ada di Jeddah itu mereka banyak mengatakan bahwasanya di Malaysia juga ada ustaz macam itu lah. Oke. Oh orang India. Wow, amazing. Kan. There's so much history on this small stretch of the river, and now that we're on the other side, it's time to explore. Okay. Head up, and then start riding around the villages. Mhm. Just across the river from the bustling business center lies a quiet little village with a hundred-year-old history. Wow, cantik cantik ternyata di kucing ini ya. Oke. This is one of my favorite houses. Oh, ni oh iya sih. Ini ini rumah jenis apa ya kan? Eh apa tadi bilangnya? Terletak hanya sebelah. Oke. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. The streets are lined with gorgeous wooden homes that have combined old world charms okay. with modern design. Cantik ya. Nah. This is what ini merupakan salah satu daripada rumah kampung kegemaran saya. Oke, okay. oh iya guys, sore-sore duduk kat sini, alamak. Oke. Oke, yang lagi lama. Eh, menyenangkan sekali guys kampung ya. Diubah suai, oke. Okay, tetapi masih mempunyai you know, lampu. Oke, okay. masya Allah cantik. The scenery of Kampung Nombor Satu sampai Nombor Enam is so peaceful, and okay. it's a great break from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It's got okay. beautiful architecture, friendly people, and it's a mm-hmm. great way to work up an appetite. Baik baik, lama seti kan. So I think it's time we treat ourselves with some local delights. Oke, okay. saatnya menjamu nih guys. Dikunci ya. Oh, oh enggak ya. Ini emang parkir untuk sepeda ya, sepeda ontal ya. Hmm. Oke. Oke. Okay, macam soto lah kat sini Oh beza Apa ni telur lah Udang Oh good Oh no This is Chef Ahid's Laksa Udang Gala One of the best laksa This side of town Wow Business store Start since 2007 Boleh betul cula Dia mana tu Actually started the business because he was inspired by the people of Sarawak. Wow, good Rasa job brothers. Rasa Sarawak untuk kira nang unik lah, si kedai orang lain. Nya si berminyak, laksa kami orang make udang galah, and then we are the first to introduce udang galah. Oi best lah. ni dia buang kotoran tu. Ada beberapa yang tak buang nah, tau. Di Solo ni ada restoran yang memang ada juga yang tak buang lah. Ramai juga. Kat mana-mana Kalau tak pandai so, Wow Good job Ya Allah sedapnya Yang bestnya Bila beri Makan yang sedap tu lah Sedap customer kami tu Bilanya senyum ya Best gila Okay Sampai santi Jauh panjang makan Wow Oh look Our laksa is coming Laksa is coming This is absolutely worth the ride here <laughs> I totally agree This laksa is a must try It is to die for Thank you Thank you Okay, okay. Cari lah Cari lah Enjoy oh, I want to add extra spicy Saya nak rasa sedikit Okay sambal Yummy okay. okay ini berarti uh, Mak Saleh lah Boleh lah kalau cewek masalah juga ke? <laughs> Tak faham Okay Okay Ini budak-budak ni Okay Bandar aku cuma Betul sih uh-huh. Okay Wow Cantik Itu oh, apa guys Kat jembatan gitu Yes ma'am Well The ride is almost over We are Dalam beberapa ratus meter lagi That will be just A couple hundred meters from here So it's not really over yet Okay But I just want to show you One of the best views That you can get in this city Is mm-hmm. this one The new Dewan Undangan Negeri mm-hmm. uh, It's right on the waterfront And It's Cantik One of the best places for you to hang out at night. There's a light wow. show going on. If you have time, you can check it out at night. Also, the view is going to be different. And it's going to be super as well. Are you ready to go? Yes. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, cantiknya. Woi, petang kat sini ya Allah. Duduk, duduk. Okay, santai, santai. Allah. But for now, we're going to pack up and head off on our next adventure in Padawan. Let's Padawan. go. Padawan. And cut. Cut. 
chat. <laughs> Welcome back to Take Me to Wow. Now in Padawan, a small town on the outskirts of Kuching. Okay, ini daerah pinggirannya ya. Masih hijau, guys. Steep in history and surrounded by lush green landscapes. Cantiknya, guys. Kalau kita kalau kita tengok daripada atas ni cantik sangat, guys. Ya Allah. A village most known for kayaking and bamboo rafting. Okay. Say hello to Kampong Danu. Come Danu. follow me. Let's meet Robert. Oh. Hello. Welcome to Kampong Danu. This is where we're going to stay tonight. Come. Go in. This house. We have six room inside. We have okay. kitchen. Barbecue pits. We have karaoke set also for wow. you. Wow. Anda lapar kan? Jom kita pergi cari makan. Eh comelnya anak-anak kucing juga. Eh mak cik tu comel. Kita pergi ke restoran atau supermarket in search of food. We're going to do things a little different. Okay. We're going shopping, but in the jungle. Ui. I promise you, there's nothing quite like foraging for your own meal. Bonus points, it's completely organic too. Wow. But we're going to need a guide. So Jennifer and her friends will teach us how to identify edible food in the jungle. Wah, mantap ini. Ini masih pakai cara tradisional, eh? Fern which tastes amazing when it's stir fried with lachan. Lachan. Oh, besar. Ini tu kena ni. Ini dia. Saya budak baru belajar. Ya. Saya budak baru belajar. Ya, ini kan? Ya. Ini. Apa tu guys? Belacan. Apa nama tu? Selalunya paku. Oh, sayur paku. Uh, di setiap tebingan sungai sini memang ada lah. Paku ini biasanya okay. kan belacan. Masakan kampung lah kami orang okay. di sini. Uh, kalau tidak masakan kering dengan belacan, kami biasanya ulam sahaja. Untuk kami golongan di sini yang paku baik sebab uh, tanaman tidak beracun. Mm -hmm. Dia ada perosak serangga lah. Aside from paku, we're also going to search for some bamboo shoots. Rebung, okay, rebung guys. Ah, ini dia rebu yang kita cari dari tadi. Kita potong dia, kita ambil dan kupas. Wow. Sebenarnya saya belum pernah nyoba sih guys. Steady hands. It's amazing how fast Jennifer can process the shoots with her parang. Rebung is a prized commodity for the Bidayu people as it isn't always available. Okay. Rebong ini bukan selalu dijumpai. Betul. Rebong ini adalah bermusim. Selalunya musim hujan lah. Rebong ini akan timbul. The land provides bounty, but we have to respect it too. It's important to clean up after yourself to avoid spirits following you home. Okay, ini hasil rebong yang kita kutip tadi. So kita balik dan pergi masak ke rumah. Okay. Before we head back to the homestay, there's one more ingredient to harvest. Okay, apa tu? Mighty bamboo. Oh, kita bulu. potong ambil buluh ini untuk masak ayam panso. Woi, ayam panso. Ayam panso is a Apa local ini? dish made by stuffing chicken and herbs okay. in a bamboo container. Oh. It is then cooked over a wood fire till you get a delicious wow. hot soupy dish. Mesti sedap guys. Saya belum cuba lagi. Boleh lah kita cuba nanti kalau ada eh. Medium to large bamboo stalks are carefully selected and cut to size before being processed for mm -hmm. use. Eh, pandainya agak ni Ok Kena basah-basahkan Ya, basah-basahkan, gosok-gosokkan Di petang dulu ini Ok, biar bersih dulu eh Betul lah, betul Guna daun je dah ok dah Supaya ayam kita dalam puluh ini tidak menyang Haa Ayam tu nak gatal Gatal guys, gatal tu Gatal nanti ayam Gonna be so worth it. Buang barang kotor dalam ni. Bila dia sampai dua tiga kali lah, cuci dalam dia sampai dua tiga kali. Beza, logat dia beza lagi kan? Okay, ini sudah bersih. Okay, ini dah bersih. Now that the bamboo is ready, it's time to start the fire. Okay. Ayam panso. Ayam panso dulu. 
Pansu. Untuk air pansu, kita lebih suka menggunakan bulu sebab uh, tradisi. Satu lagi untuk aroma wanginya. Aha. Okay. While we're waiting for the fire to get wow. hot, let's prep the ingredients. The flavoring comes from a mixture of onion and ginger, which are crushed uh, okay. using a pestle Jumpur and mortar also. to release its fragrance. Next, we're going to marinate this beautiful organic ayam kampung chicken. Hebat sih orang-orang dulu ya nyiptain resep-resep kayak gini juga kan. Aduh. Then we mix thoroughly. Wow. Add a handful of lemongrass and finally some potato leaves. Okay. Everything is measured using the local favorite aga-aga. Aga-aga lah. <laughs> okay. Oh, dikasih itu Masukkan ya. Masukkan sekali di dalam buluh ini. Hingga penuh. Sehingga penuh. Okay. Macam lemang ya mungkin nanti masaknya. Oh, kan betul. While that's cooking, we're going to make the next dish, the bamboo shoot and paku stir fry. Mm -hmm. Kita masukkan dulu kisar udang ini yang telah direndam. Okay. okay. Masukkan halia yang telah dipotong. Masuk okay. bawang merah dah diiris bersama dengan bawang putih. Bawang putih. Masuk. Oh buat sekali dia ya masak uh, buluh tadi tu. Ah ni bambu dia okey. Okey. Makanan kampung kalau kita letakkan cili kering tidak sah. Betul. Masukkan kulat. Kulat-kulat. Kulat eh, kulat. Cendawan ni, cendawan ni donlah. Cendawan. Seterusnya masukkan paku. Wow. Oh berarti Just apa namanya itu bambunya dicampur sama paku tadi. Ngiler guys. Ya Allah. Ya Allah Betul lah Kita ni ya Allah Senang je makan The smell of this is incredible This truly is the soul food of the Bidayu people Tada Siap sudah Jataman Taman 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 What's more Every village has its own twist on the flavor So you can yes. actually taste what the land has to offer There's nothing wow, quite like eating a meal that you have foraged for yourself. I am so thankful oh, to Jennifer and my friends for teaching me a yeah. thing or two about eco shopping. Now, eco -shopping. excuse me while I eat, and then I'll take you to Smadang River for an adventure. Okay. Cantiknya guys, ya Allah. And we are back on Take Me to Strawa. Ready for an adventure? Meet this handsome guy. Hi, I'm Luke Kenny Doring. So I'm the river guide for Semadang hmm. Bono Adventure. Semadang. We engage to the Semadang. local community to be the bamboo raft. So the local community okay. normally they pick up the bamboo raft and they have to dry it for at least uh, a week or two hmm. until it is fully dry. Then only we assemble it and we tie it uh, using ropes. Okay. We get to three partition. Normally the bamboo raft is about 18 meter long. Oh, and panjang. it can fit four person. Empat orang. Our journey is 10 km all together, but this stretch of river it is called Sungai Semadang, Semadang. and it can reach up to Kuching Waterfront and okay. flows out to the main river of Sarawak. Oh, okay. So the river on this river is not that tough. It's quite easy. You will learn on how to maneuver. We'll teach you how. Most importantly, we get our team to brief you on the safety. And also, when you are on the river, you have to listen to our instructions. Just in case if you capsize, you have your life jacket. Okay, dikasih mana ya belajar juga. Our safety boat is always right behind you. Just go with the flow. If you're ready, come. Let's go. Let me pass you your life jacket. Yes, please. This is your life jacket. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Jadi kita kayak diajak jalan-jalan banget sih guys. Kalau kita lihat ya, mbaknya ini. Ya Allah, kenapa mata aku berair? Okay. Basah kayak. Aku paling enggak suka kalau basa-basa kayak gini. Okay. Why? We're only two minutes in and I'm already drenched. Let the adventure begin. Okay. Alamak. 
Madang River is gorgeous with its cool Tantangannya water keren and sih. It's most commonly used Kayak gini nih pakai ala bambu. As we paddle on, Luke tells me more about its history. Wow. The local use to use rafts as a means of transportation and they go up to the up to the village up there with boats but since you are here you get to experience it on this bamboo raft and in July normally we have this Padawan Raft Safari mm -hmm, ada pertandingan juga ya. to win the title of the king of river for 42 okay. kilometers can outsider join the Padawan Raft Definitely it's open for public and it's also open for international participants. Wow, terbang sangat. Everyone should uh, take this trip because it's very cute. It's very near to Kuching and you get to experience the freshness of the river wow. on a rock. And it's fun. It's like what we have today. Keren sih. Keren sih. Ya Allah takut aku. Jatuh kan, jatuh kan, jatuh kan. Ah, kan. Itulah mesti. So what can we usually see? Tidak ada buaya ke? Aduh, takutlah ada buaya kat situ. You can see eagles. It's very common here. Okay. Other than that, kingfisher. Ah, monitor lizard. Monitor lizard. Otter. Biawak. Yeah. If you're very lucky, you can see otter. In this river, you have a lot of fish. Tegada. Later on, I'll show you. Okay. Thousand of it. Oh. Awesome. No more. No more. Day, day, day. Apa tu? Elang. Oh iya ada elangnya guys. Masya Allah. Sulaiman. Kenapa bagi nama Sulaiman? Tidak jelas. Okay. The Smadang River rafting is such an unforgettable and fun experience. Ia lah sangat sangat seronok tau. Tapi saya takut kalau macam ni. Oh my shah! Aku tadi tu. Cantik batu tadi tu. Okay. The rapids here will melt your worries away, and you'll get an arm workout at the same time. Masya Allah cantik Masih asri banget sih Ikan guys Wih gak kelihatan tadi kalau itu ikan Ternyata banyak banget Oke berarti diurus Oke Masya Allah This practice ensures that there is enough fish for centuries to come For now, I'm going to dive in, cool off, and get ready to go see a couple of living treasures. Wow, baru tahu. Memang betul. Saya dengar dari kawan-kawan juga kalau di Malaysia tu enggak bisa di ini, enggak boleh dipancing. Oh, nenek singa. One of the last few bidayu ring ladies in the world. Wow, my zing. Signature copper rings around their neck, arms, and legs. Okay. Oh, atat i, oh, tip i. Oh, masya Allah. Ya Allah.
betul sih anak muda harus mewarisi ini guys menjaga dan juga betul betul sih hanya orang bidayu saja yang ada kayak gini Wow. Dan seluruh Sarawak seperti Oke. Aha. Dengan cara ini Mampu dengar Ya Allah, Masya Allah. Oke, dan last ini more young hmm. women of the tribe would be inspired to revive this tradition again betul harus For now i'm signing out dapo unya nubakon see you next time all right guys oke okay, guys sudah selesai videonya so gimana menurut teman-teman sekalian dan kalau menurut saya video ini sangat-sangat keren banget karena eksplornya itu benar-benar eksplor ya daripada pertama dari perkotaan habis itu tempat-tempat tradisionalnya dan juga istilahnya masakan-masakan tradisionalnya dan wow yang terakhir itu the last ring ladies dan itu memang wow banget sih dan itu udah the last guys terakhir ini saya harap ada generasi-generasi muda yang tertarik dengan hal seperti ini karena memang sangat wow kalau kita lihat itu amazing gitu tidak semua orang bisa melakukan hal seperti itu gitu Jadi gimana menurut teman-teman langsung saja komen di bawah guys Terima kasih sudah menonton video ini Dan terima kasih juga kepada TVS yang sudah sharing video ini So ini keren banget Dan ini ya mungkin suatu saat kita akan hilang Tapi anak-anak kita boleh menonton video ini guys Dan tahu oh ternyata ada seperti ini gitu Wow keren sih Pokoknya komen di bawah Jangan sampai nggak komen ya gimana pendapat teman-teman dengan video ini Dan gimana dengan uh, pengalaman teman-teman yang pernah ke Kucing Sarawak dan ke tempat-tempat yang tadi Terima kasih sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya Jangan lupa untuk like, share, komen, dan subscribe channel saya dan juga TVS Terima kasih sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya Apabila ada salah kata mohon dimaafkan Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh